Where's the sonar? IP's to the left, about 30 degrees. Let's put that all the way away, shall we? How's it going, AJ? Now is that the connector panel right there? Or is it like this? I guess I can just go see now. Yeah. How about we do that? There it is. There it is. So I just got to pull a bit more. It's like you've done this before. I have done it before. <laughs> That crab, though. <laughs> you can see it a lot crab. better now. The laterals are working so hard, but I'm getting there. So, Dirk? He doesn't have his headset on. Can you please tell him to put his headset on for me? Yeah, go ahead. I assume you do not want to plug this in until we go look at the other end. Um, the plan was to just plug it in. Oh, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, that's what I the die plan says. I don't see why not. Yeah, okay, no, can I'm not do it in five minutes? particularly worried about it. No. no. So... I can, I'm just going to keep lateraling, pull a little bit extra. If you... Yeah. Yeah, get, you're going to give me a minute. I need to lateral over and get a little bit more length here. I'm wondering if um, maybe we... AJ, did you go and look at the weight that's around the IP here? Did you find it? Okay, well, I wonder if maybe, if anything, that's what we should do is go sit in front. If we are going to be moving around, maybe we should just go find the weight. And with the crew change, um, maybe we will go and look at the cable just so that everyone's aware of what we're doing. It's just tight. Pardon? No, it'll reach. They've been pulling it. It's okay. Oh, yeah. It'll reach. Uh, yeah, they've pulled it. We went up, way up, then laid it down because we don't want it kind of knifing into the side as we're pulling sideways off that horizontal bundle. Okay. How much you want, Dirk? Well, I mean, that's enough, I'll, but we could do No, more. I want a little more. I want it to be able to go straight 90 to the ground and then not come off at like a Roger. an angle. Otherwise, it's just a trip hazard for the, any kind of future skids actually you know what the first thing we should do is where are those weights yeah that's what i'm thinking like once we're happy we put it down yeah. and then we go find the weight so that maybe the next team starts with some weights in sight yeah i don't think it's gonna happen in time but they can go find them yeah how much time we got five minutes the weights are um if you're at the connector panel they should just be straight to your starboard on the ground oh is it right by that um like, it looks like a dumbbell. That's probably good there, Josh. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy. You're going to come down? Because this is going to be handover. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's, that's okay. good. I'm that's off comms, jerk. For a sec, I'm just going to sit. Do, do the thing.
check, check, check. Okay. So first thing we're doing is ditching this cable, correct? Is that the, is that the plan? Yeah, the plan is we'll drop the cable, go find some weight, and then we'll come and plug this back in. Okay. There should be some weight just to your starboard side on the ground. Just to the starboard side, Roger. Co-pilot radio check. Check. Excellent. You want to uh, ditch this cable? Uh, so yeah, we can do that. This is eventually, that's the one you're going to plug it into. Okay. If that helps you ditch it. Do we want to uh, hang it on, hang the it on the you don't need platform? To you don't need to hang it. As long as you can land the ROV in a place where you can connect it, you can put it on the ground. It's pretty It's pretty protected where anywhere with that dumps, d dummy cap in there, dummy plug. Okay. Sounds good. So maybe even right there somewhere, wherever makes sense. Get my bearings here. You notice it's a little oh. tight. Oh, oh, it's going there. <laughs> <laughs> so if we put it there, just then when we want to come and land to do this connection, we'd would we be able? To, we it's going to be right underneath yeah, the so ROV. Yeah, maybe we should grab it and just move it to the. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was, the side that was my fault. I hit the hydraulic button on with my thumb. <laughs> yeah, I've got the uh, stills camera gives you a really good view of what's going on. Oh. Okay. Is that it? As sort of. kind of as far as possible. You you still got. I can see from the stills cam Ooh. where this goes. Please, please Free so that's where we want to put it. Uh, a little further, maybe over there, as far as you can. Oh, shoot! What did I do? I lost everything. Yeah. Is that possible? That's as far out as I can send it. Finger All right. Works. Yeah, that's good. I lost my. Drop Control there. Shift X, maybe. Okay. Uh, nice. That's not a mouse. Maybe I'll just move to a different screen. Now we will search for some weight. Go to sonar. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's yeah. Well, never mind. Oh, I kind of done it now. All right. Is V so the off to starboard, one, correct? I think. Oh, this guy. Which one? You want Herx? No, I just want that stills camera back up here. I don't know oh. how to do it. Isn't it still cam or no? I don't know where to find that one. Still cam is next to Little Herc. Yeah. Towards the end of the here. top row. Second, second to a. Oh, yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. All right, thank you. So it should just be to the starboard on my map here. It shows some weights, um, kind of maybe more to your starboard. More to starboard, Roger. Well, should be somewhere you're, because you're, 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 you're quite light right Yeah. Now. Oh, maybe dead ahead, is that something? No, I don't know. Mm, doesn't look like it. No. Somewhere around here, there should be some weights. Maybe. Maybe to your right even further, kind of. Yeah. It's hard to tell from these from these drawings since they're like they're a not dimensioned. Dusty here. No, no, no. This one here. Yeah, that should be here. -ish. So if you want to keep turning to your right, you should put a full turn in your. Let's see it. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it's uh, from the corner of the IP. It says south. It says um, southwest, but staying on this side of this orange cable that's currently on your left. Okay. So somewhere in this region. Yeah, I think it's still f further ahead. Okay. Drive ahead. Still nothing on sonar, but let me bring it up to a little better resolution for you. There's something coming up here, maybe, on the ground maybe. there. Wishful thinking. No, don't know what that is. No idea what any of that is. If this weight, if we can't find it, there's also some weight, but then that's, they're quite far away. So, yeah. So. We'll just find ourselves in locks. <laughs> Hopefully we're not there yet. Um, there's kind of something up on coming up again. Might just be a fish. Looks like fish. Uh huh? We have a oh. solid target over here. Yeah, there's a solid target on the sonar. In that direction? In uh, what heading? 270? Uh, 315 ish. 315. From where you are now. How, at what, what range are you getting it? About um, 15 meters. 15 meters? Yeah, maybe go check it out. It could be. Okay. There is an instrument way out there. There's a um, different Kongsberg sonar. About 12 meters ahead of us. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's not it. It won't be that's there. Okay, so maybe if we head back to the IP. Roger. Uh, and look around there for this weight. Otherwise, we'll have to go pick up the weight that's quite further away. Okay. How light do you find the vehicle right now? It's quite light. We're thrusting um, down quite significantly. Okay. Yeah, and I think we, um, okay. from the drawing, oh, yep. sorry. Following that, I think we are. We have to be on the other side of the this other cable. Side? Yeah. Roger. yeah, and then we'll just follow it all the way to the IP, and hopefully we see it this time when it's not as murky. Okay. <laughs> yep. All good. So it's according to our drawing, the weight is in between this green cable and the oily on our right. So okay. I mean if it's not here we'll do a quick look around the IP and then head off to go get the other weights. Eight. Yeah, it looks like the IP. Yeah. Let's see, there's the CTD monument just to the left of the IP. And there's, yeah. I don't know what those two things are on the ground, I'm not sure. Oh, they're little number markers. Oh, okay, yeah. There was something square just beyond that number nine, but I couldn't tell what it was. So what's this on our left here? That's just nothing. Piece of grating. Grating, looks like. Take a snap a picture of that. Okay. 
archive. Made from a previous shell. That experiment. looks like a previous oily, actually. Like a um, something to wrap an oily around, maybe. Or it could be a shell experiment. What's that? Is that a wait? No, fish. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep grabbing fish for your porch. <laughs> <laughs> you might actually be able to grab one some of those fish. A shell might weigh probably a good 10 pounds in water. <laughs> that, that rack. <laughs> Uh, let's go see the other side and okay. this is unfortunate. Please yeah. Can you come down on the delta five meters? Coming down delta I'm five trying to meters. add to our annotations to kind of put better guesses for distances and what kind of weight as well. Because the next time we know. I'll stop eight forty. Roger. We've kind of exhausted this search. Um, uh, the the weights, yeah, I mean, there are weights down. There's chain and some other weights, but they're sixty meters away. Sixty at meters. ninety two degrees. So I think let's just cut our losses and go get those. Okay. Because you can't make this connection, this light, can you? Uh, it would be difficult. Yeah, uh, I think let's, we're going to need them for the rest of the dive, so yeah. might as well make our lives easier hold from the start. Hold on to the vehicle. Hold on to the platform. It could hold on to the platform, yeah. We're, we're going to have to get weight at some point. Would we have to come back here after we make this connection? Um, we do not. So you have to go east? So after we make this connection, we'll go south to go inspect the cable run to the instrument. And then at that point, we are kind of done in this area. But this, the weights are kind of off to the east. And uh, we also don't have to go back to the east after this. So might as well go get the weights and then come make this connection. Because the, okay. the instrument is way south. OK. Hey, Bridge. How's it going? I was just thinking it'd be easy to grab on. Grab on the top or one no, of the that flange oh, on sorry. the bottom? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me turn. Just grab that flange and then reach in, plug in. Then we're going to have to come back. Yeah, if you want to save the, we do want to come back to follow the cable back to the instrument to see if there's any like kinks or snags or something. OK. So we have to follow the cable at some point. But if you think this is getting this out of the way is convenient now, then we can do that. Oh, what do you think, Jake? It's your call. Grab on with the magnum to the be worth a try. rubber rail right there. Yeah, as long as we're not struggling. Okay. Which uh, plug were you plugging into where the dummy is? Yeah, where the dummy is, yeah. Yeah, we could grab that D-rubber. OK. All right. You wanna I think I could grab that hose and everything right in the same spot if we drop down. You want to bring out yeah, let me get the, the magnum? magnum ready. Yeah. Wow, see the there's a crab that was eaten alive. Yeah. Right? Well, it's eaten. I don't know if it was alive, but the hagfish are definitely there. There's one kind of inside of it earlier. Or maybe it's just a shell. That's, oh, yeah. He just... Uh, he molted? Yeah, he molted, it looks like. Want sure. some stills of that or not really? <laughs> All right, Derek. Why so the, the thing is, the ship says that it might be difficult to go east, but they're going to give it a go. Okay, so hang on. So let's Are just get this straight. Are we making the move right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll we'll just hold off on... Holding on to this thing? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we'll we'll have to go a little bit Rider. south um, for our final part of this mission, and then we're gonna go west. Fabio, for these yeah, shorter movements. For these um, coral cliff surveys, we're gonna want to go way southwest, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start here. Yeah. Okay. So you have them mapped out. So go okay. up. So what's the update on the 
on the move. Go all the way. All right, so we're gonna try doing shorter movements in order to make our way over there, but um, right. the wind's picked up and the current's a little bit stronger than it was when we started. So we're gonna have a little bit harder time moving in certain directions, and that's mainly south. Okay. I'm gonna just halt and plug this thing in. <laughs> Yeah, there's still quite a bit of work to do. Even if we plug this in, the instrument's not plugged in yet. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It'll be really hard if we're too late, too, so yeah. we should might as well. Let's just yep. get the weights, get that out of the way. All right, so southeast, is that the move? Is it kind of? Or are we do yeah, and then down. And yeah, and you'll be, once we leave the instrument platform, you can take over for this piece after we've done the holes um, sonar first. I just want to kind of see which general direction we want to move because all our, s well, we're right here, yeah. So eventually we're going to have to make our way quite too far towards the southwest to go do the surveys. Megan, do you know if um, AJ had already given you the points for the Coral Cliff survey? If not, um, I did not receive points. I'm assuming they're in this yeah. uh, dive plan. Yeah. So there's Fabio. a table there in the back. Okay, this table in the back. If you're gonna want to go walk her through, just to make sure they're sure. safe, because it's in a that one, two, three leg is kind of what we're looking for. Yeah, we changed the the numberings there, so we we want to go to the starting coordinate of transect number two there on the table. Oh, number two on the table? Yeah, so that's the farthest southwest. Okay. So, so the one that's labeled A to B? Uh, I don't know. Someone's e penciled in some. Yeah, if you want to, you might yeah, exactly. go on a show her there on the paper. So It's labeled. In so, the yeah, there's a, there's a yellow one, then two, and three. Exactly. That's a, a yellow circle number one. Yeah. And in the table that corresponds to survey no, line two, okay. the previous mm -hmm. map. So that's starting at nine three one meters. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Do you want to bring um, Atlanta's heading around to east? Yep. Right, that's to the west. 90 degrees sound good? Yep. Let's check it out. Our like green DVL line is back. Oh. It disappeared. I didn't know it had disappeared. <laughs> Do we, um, look at that, we got a fish. Do we have a rough coordinate for that IP? It came once you sat down. Do it we have a coordinate for that IP? Yeah, yes, we, we do. Can you do you mind marking a spot for these weights at um, at that sixty nine meters at ninety two degrees? Yep. Yeah, yeah I'll mark that, it when we get there. And then that'll kind of be our target for where we're trying to get to. Sixty two meters at ninety two degrees. Oh. Sixty two meters. Oh, too far. Okay. Huh. Thanks, Mitch. It's helpful. Our bio cam is beautiful right now. So this tilt, is this just the slope of the... Um, yeah, the, the slope of the seabed is um, <coughs> off that's to the right, increasing to the right. Yeah, that's pretty steep. Yeah, you can see it on the sonar. Yeah, that's um, it's quite. Is that expected, Fabio? Sorry, uh, miss. The slope, hey? Like, look at the ROV. If the ROV is level, look how steep the seabed is. Okay, as long as I'm not gonna run into a mountain, yeah. I'm good. All the hydrate. No, it should be pretty flat around here. It should be flat. 
Yeah, I guess it's just that. Do you like that hagfish? It sure yeah, looks like it's steep, eh? Looking at the light, how it's lighting up the near side and not the, lo down the left side. Well, the hydrates had some topography here. Yeah. See, okay. there's a cliff in here. Oh, there is a cliff there, yeah. That's where Wally got stuck. Whoa, what was that thing? Probably. What was that? That was a sable? red tail. It wasn't a sable fish? I don't know. I, I, I just saw the silver. Looked like an eel. Oh, could have been. It was like a macruid, but it could, it could have been wrong. That was too fast. There are lots of life down here. Yeah. Um, when we go later in this cruise, we'll go to Barkley Upper Slope, and you'll just see thousands of fish. It's it, the massive schools. It's pretty cool. These like walls of rockfish. Um, and we'll recover her fish acoustics experiment. Yeah, from Barkley Node. Fish we're, acoustics. We're listening to sable fish. Oh wow. We're hoping to. They have been recorded. Uh, vocalizing in captivity, but so far we have only a few recordings that are that have been made in the wild. Um, mm. We are trying to develop a machine learning tool too, because the frequency of vocalizations are pretty similar to some dolphins and 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 other marine mammals, so it's pretty hard to tease them apart on this on the spectrogram. That's really interesting. Do you think they're like communicating with each other? Uh, well, that's what uh, lots of uh, fish species do, actually. In the shallow water, that the people are discovering more and more that they they use sounds to communicate. And I'm not a, a fish biologist expert, but there's a colleague at University of Victoria, Dr. Francis Juanes, who's collaborating with us on this project. He's a fish sound expert. <laughs> yeah, I guess you don't really think too much about fish making sounds. Yeah, they make them using different structures in the, in the head. and the they're, they're quite talkative. I'm sure they must hear like, uh, we were um, just in Hawaii and whenever you approach any kind of reef, just the amounts of snaps like yeah. It's incur like it's yeah. all over. So I'm assuming it's like the I thought fish. that was the fish like eating the coral, like the parrotfish. Yeah. Yeah, I assume that I assume that's what it was, but I wonder, you know, yeah. are fish hearing other fish eating? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of animals making sounds and they the use of acoustics now is, is becoming widespread for monitoring coral reefs and all kinds of habitats. Is a non-destructive type of sampling. You can understand the ecosystem just by looking at the sounds, soundscape. But we also observed a lot of elephant seals diving down. They located this area. See, the Barclay Node is at 620 meters, right? Yeah, that's incredible. Like 80 kilometers offshore, 600 meters deep, and we see them on cameras, wow, yeah. <laughs> like video cameras. That's yeah, that's crazy. Like how many? Like, are they just going to that spot? You think, they're or do you think sable it's fish actually? Yeah, we've seen that. But the fact that they're showing up on a on a little pin pin prick point on the seafloor is just crazy. Yeah. How long they must hold their breath for is. It's got to be <laughs> a few minutes. Deep. How many? Ten? A few minutes. Two. Two? Few. Oh, okay. Few. I was going to say two minutes. Huh? They're ripping. <laughs> I'll say a few goes from two to 18. Can't even deploy <laughs> a platform that fast. So how far are we from this spot? Uh, 10 meters? Less than 10 meters, yeah. Uh, nothing on sonar, huh? Uh, nothing yet. Hey, Oriel. It's going to be kind of tough finding it on sonar because it, uh... Yeah. So did you, when you um, put in the coordinates, did we reference the 
offset IP location from the last IP location? Like, you know, because they didn't quite line up, did they? Nav is currently talking to the bridge. Oh, okay, sorry. And she's done. Um, I don't even know why. Dirk had a question for you about um, where this. Yeah. Point was. So when we um, when you place that pin, Megan, did mm -hmm. you, you know how the old IP was kind of offset from our. Yeah, nav? I did it from the position of the new IP. Okay, perfect. That should be good. There's two things we're looking for here. There's either some um, Hercules weights or there are some chain, 45 pounds of it. And that is at 60 meters at 100 degrees. All right. Um, directly over the pin. It's kind of an odd spot, though, here to be dropping yeah. stuff. I think what probably happened is we surface deployed something and it left. So, oh, no, oh, there's something. something. Hey. I think that's a fish. <laughs> no, let's hope it's weights. No hard spots on my sonar. Uh, it looks like a fish to me. Yeah. Uh, let's go check it out. We really hope it's the weights. <laughs> <laughs> or a very heavy fish. Maybe the fish is just highlighting where the weights are. <laughs> I mean, there's a tiny yeah. rock with an enemy on it. <laughs> um, yep. 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 There's a rock. bunch of fish. Oh, you want a picture? Yeah, let's have a look around here. Yeah. It's got to be somewhere. Normally the nav is pretty good, so if we recorded the position properly, then it should be lying around. Um, we just heard from shore that our weight, rec like the recording of the weight over by the IP is from 2017 or 2018. So it's been a while. So it might have been already moved or shifted. But I feel like this weight is out of the way enough that we probably wouldn't have touched it. Drag around here. Do you want to keep searching this area? I can move us closer. Um, so while well, the other spot should be fairly close to the 60 meters at 100. Where does that, how far away from that spot is this? Oh, 60 meters The thing is why, why we're looking for this is because part of this dive is um, doing coral cliff surveys, um, like benthic surveys essentially, and we really need to have our ballast in order to be able to do that, so. Yeah, we'll be bouncing up and down if, it, if yeah, not. It should be straight ahead of you. That's 60 meters at 100. That's my sonar. Yeah, the sonar is, uh, with this bathymetry, it's kind of tough, eh? Yeah. You only get like a little slice of what you normally would see. meters at 100 is down there. Yeah, that's that red. Okay. And about 10 meters in front of us. All right. Okay, fingers crossed. Oh, what's that on the right? There's something on the right of your screen. This is a rope looking thing. Uh, I don't have my drawer anymore, but What's that? Uh, it looks like an old cable or something. Um, I think that's maybe connected to some chain. Okay, we'll follow it. Uh, uh, might have to try and pick it up or something. Yeah, I don't know. Because there is like a rope looking thing in here and it's labeled chain with at 60 at 100, which was calculated. Um, and it is half inch chain 
but it does show like a rope deal. So if we can I reach over and grab it and yank it up if you want. So oh, you, you want, want me to do uh, here? Yeah. See what that it looks like maybe like oh, I can't see anything. Yeah. Maybe it's just get be tough. Just be give it a second and you just get your arm underneath of it and kinda lift it out of the mud to see what kind of it is before we grab it. There shouldn't be any instruments or cables in this area. Yeah, based on that sonar, I'm saying it's probably effectively useless. Yeah. See that? Nope, I see it up there. Let me see if I can. Nope. I have no depth perception with this dust. Yeah. Yeah, we can wait. It, it will go away. Actually, I can see it right there, down in the bottom right, too. Yeah, I just wait and then get a clear view because we're going to want to see exactly that it's not a cable or it's not anything. something on the arm. <laughs> nope. You got it. I think it's on your manip. I know, I think it is too. Any chance you can bring that closer? It looks like crap looks rope. Like rope. Yeah. Alright, maybe that's what we're looking for. Yeah, maybe you can grab that and pull it up and then see if it's attached to chain. We're not gonna get it in this thrusters is not or anything. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, I, don't I don't have a hold of it. I just had it hooked. So we can we can really take our time and figure out if it's sinking line or what it is okay. if you want. Like, yep. um, well, there's the end of it, and it's got an eye on it. So it's just attached to something. Yeah. Um, so this could have been a bridle. So I think this is a bridle connected to okay. 45 yeah. pounds of chain. Um, you can give those to me. So, but yeah, I can't hear you, uh, Ricky. Are you talking to wait me? Wait while we okay. wait for the dust to settle. Just because that line is pretty long. Yep. It looks like it's not sinking to... 48... 9, Pretty sure I have it in my jaws, and I've wrapped yeah, and a couple if you, of it. If you look in the um, bubble cam, you can see it's chain. It's half inch chain on there, okay. right by that thimble that you're talking about, Danny. Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. clear in this still camera. Oh, in a still cam. The still cam shows you um, everything right now. Yeah, you can do. Um, Trying to remember uh, how to bring up still cam. Yeah, you've got quite a few wraps Source around your manip as well. So just make just look at that. Source uh, ROV. And then, um, oh wait, not source of OV, what is it? That uh, yeah. MV, I'm going to take my PDU, no, I'm gonna, I wanted uh, yeah. that lower one now. That's well, it looks like we were up in that direction before. Pip H2, one, try it. Now we've got, this is what we're looking for, so we're right there. Tell Dan to come in here so I can give him the uh, still cam. Uh, you got the radio, I think. No, I gave it to him. On your prompter, oh. it's like way third from the right button on mine, on the top row. Let me try uh, bubble cam. Okay. You can see in your main camera too now, actually. It's just clearing up. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. So you don't want to put it in your front bio box. That thing is a little bit of a, it's a bit of a mess. Does this look like 45 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how long it is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just this little chunk. Uh, yeah. See how many links we got. 
someone so get what's out the, math the, on the engineering yeah. toolbox and uh, <laughs> figure out chain weight per link. Let me look up. Uh, I don't know how we're going to put this in the box. Yeah, it's going to be a... We'll have to throw it on the porch. Yeah, I mean, on the porch is fine. I mean, the only reason, only thing we don't want is um, it to be in the view of the camera during surveys, but I don't think the porch will put it... I Can don't you think uh, tilt down for me uh, on the camera? Tilting down. And I was lucky to find that little string. <laughs> yeah, it was mostly buried. <laughs> Just a little stick of rope. Can we uh, rack in and rack zoom in. out? Oh, well, it zoomed out. You're okay. full wide. I can t look down some more here. I just can't see what I'm doing. I really don't want to poke this uh, beautiful Zeus we have here. What are you doing? Can you give me a bubble cam? It doesn't look like your porch is all the way out. Eh? No, uh, the box isn't out either. So I don't know. Yeah. Can we porch out? I can porch out. Might cause a storm, but I'll push the vehicle out here. Okay. Let me try that. Maybe lay the chain on the rope or something. Keep it down. Oh. oh. Careful there. Take Herc straight up; it'll bundle up. You have to wait for it to clear out, but that's that's probably the best view you got. Yeah, I know. I'm just waiting for that river of dust to go yeah. away. Or you just use a suction sample and suck it up. <laughs> <laughs> that would not end all. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Wait on this. Picking up some chain. Chain. Chain for weight. Yeah. yeah or a little, little buoyant. How long is this chain? <laughs> it's about 40 pounds long. Oh. Cool. <laughs> That's really helpful. Uh, I can I can give you a best guess here. Give me okay. a second. So probably like, what, three or four feet? Uh, it should be longer than it's that. Definitely longer, longer than that. Longer. We pulled in at least three or four Isn't feet. there any other weights besides a chain? We couldn't find it. It wasn't where it was supposed to be. Uh. So, but I mean... I can look it up. That's pretty easy. <laughs> Dusty chain. There's chain. Okay, so. No, oh, dang it. God, I feel like I'm walking on the moon with this uh, still cam. Yeah. It is, it is. I, I'm surprised how clear it is compared to everything else. Yeah, uh, their just main uh, latency is no. very uh, bad. Oh, there you go, main cam, just open, clear it up. The 
this chain has been down here in a little while. Oh, it's going to be a lot of chain. I think it's like <laughs> half inch chain is 2.55 pounds per yeah, this might be foot. Uh, I would... Uh, Ditch the chain? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, all your hard work, Danny. Yep. To, uh, I think if we just take off, the chain will fall off. Think so? There's a lot of chains still on the deck. That's on the bottom. Gonna, you're going to drag mud around with it forever? Yeah. Um. You bounce off or get in the water column, I can just drop the chain. There's nothing here. And yeah. I'm not dealing with dust. Okay. I think we're going to call it anyways. Oh, really? Yeah. Weather's picking up. It's recovered a deck. It's 15 feet, yeah, of chain. Yeah. All right, I'm uh, popping up okay. here. Uh, hold, hold on, let me... Uh, uh, lounge, lounge. Where are we? Are you listening down there? I think he's talking to them, not us. We can go up in the water and I can yeah, get rid of the chain. Megan, can you uh, call the lounge? It's 25 knots and rising. Forecast is for increasing wind. I'd like to yep. knock Got it, it on the head. Lounge nav. I think they may have heard and <laughs> I hear the pitter patter. Hey, of little um, feet. <laughs> so it looks like the wind speeds increased cool. quite a bit and it looks to continue. Yep. So okay, we can we're thinking it would be best yep. to recover. I can do it if you need. All right. Might have just fallen off. It did. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. Hey, Ariel. I was just Thank talking you. to Allison in the lounge. It's all good. What did uh, what she say? She's going to come up here. Roger. Okay, I'm stowed. We can bring our camera back to normal. Stretch it out and uh, clean yourself off yeah, at least. Yeah, and I'm bouncing, yeah, you bouncing back and forth here trying to shake it off. You can't play in the mud like that at Berkeley. <laughs> what are you thinking? Use the suction chance line reverse. Hmm. I don't know if I was to set up that way. Uh, we bring sonar back up in there? Monitor right, sonar. Nope, long one. Monitor right, engineering. There we go. Monitor left, sonar nine. No, not that one. On the left, all of ah. Might have to. Uh, it seems to be all right, but um, there was some concern that we wouldn't be able to go in certain directions. But after we went east, it wasn't nearly as difficult as the bridge thought it was going to be. But yeah, we've been seeing spikes in wind speed. Oh, yeah. wanna come up on Delta there? Coming up on Delta. Yep. Yeah. There was some concern, so. Not currently, no. Take off your auto heading too. You're gonna swing around. Are you still ascending? Or? I'm just holding here, but stretching okay. it out, get the mud off. Yep, that sounds good. I'm gonna stop at 30 meter delta. They bumped the porch in and out a few times. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah. My suction sampler doesn't blow, does it? No. That's one thing I like about ours. You could vacuum it up, though. <laughs> <laughs> then we have to clean out the system. <laughs> Looks like it's getting pretty clean. Yeah. <laughs> Coming through the interface, there won't be any dirt left on it. Yeah, it's kind of fun. We can turn ours around and turn it into a water gun. <laughs> We picked up a lot of mud. <laughs> I'm so cold. I asked you if you wanted a uh, jacket or. Oh, a I wasn't paying sweatshirt. attention. I was going to bring your sweatshirt up. Eh, it's fine. I only have 15 have, minutes. I can I can live 10 more 10ish more minutes. Oh look at I got your message. <laughs> it just alerted me. Super helpful. Oh no, that's mom. The IP? Um, about f f uh. So a question came in about the IP. Uh, IP is not internet related. It is talking about the internet, or sorry, internet. Uh, instrument All platform. Right. So they're trying I'm to locate the and instrument and platform in this case. Thanks, Pete. Is that any better? <clears throat> Want to come down on Delta a little bit as I come, come down to the seafloor?
Yep. Back on SPL. There's the IP. Okay, excellent. So back to plan A, we'll grab a hold of it. With, uh, yeah, I think so. Sounds like a plan. I'm at 35 meters on our delta. Do you want me to come down a little more? Uh, yeah, come down a little bit more because we're going to be stretched out. Maybe okay. down to 30. Coming down at 30. Okay, ROV. Yep. Um, I here. think I think the plan is we're going to position in front of that connector panel, and then uh -huh. we're going to get a final decision on um, recovery or not. Okay. So if we can just put ourselves in a position where we're ready to start taking dust caps off or yep. things like that. Yeah, we'll we'll get ready for that. Perfect, thanks. Yeah, yeah, we're in a good position. Okay, I'm gonna pull the arm out. Yep, pull the arm out. I'm gonna give you a little bit. Of going off comms for a second. And we'll be doing a shift change. <clears throat> the arm might have to be a little lower because I think we're on a slope downwards like this. So yeah. The back of the vehicle is going to be sitting on the... Okay, I'll elbow down and just get that. Yeah. Wrist is... I'm trying to get the wrist flat. Yeah. So. further down I can get here. Fight this crab. Do I need to grab a hold of it with, uh... Oh, we also have to make sure we can get the, uh... Connector. Yeah. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Video's back on comms. You are might you have to get the. Are you flat right now? Yeah, I'm up. So the oh, back wow. end of the vehicle is. We're on a pretty good slope here. That's an interesting um, 
Okay. Um, maybe I'll grab a hold of the uh, top corner of this guy. Yeah. That that top left corner. Yeah. See if you can grab that. Oh. Yep. Definitely can. <laughs> I'm gonna swing in a little bit. Yeah, that's a pretty steep angle for this thing. Yeah. That's kind of what, and it even looks better in the sonar now. So I think where we found that chain is like right on a, right on a cliff. Okay, uh, bubble. Bubble? Yeah. I'll check. Well, we'll get situated and then go from there. Oh. Uh, think that's going to hold? Well, do you want to get those t like teeth above the... Yeah, the try that. I can, I can maybe bump forward a bit. Um, let me just do a little bump up on the wrist. Yeah. There you go. Close that. Nice. There we go. Now I should be able to let go here. And now if I do elbow down, I should be able to bring us. What about we complete this task? Because I mean, if we can, this these are the, the gold golden nuggets. Yeah. And we're gonna find more corals. Right? Yeah. If we can do this right now. I think that's How the best I'm going to get. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we'll see. So the main thing, what we're going to do out, is before we start this operation, here. we'll see. Um, we'll check with Nav whether the ship is currently we, um, holding station. To look at the arm. We'll make the connection. We'll move over to the next one. Check it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got and got then lots of room. I think the plan is still to go do that line. That's whether the ship can get there. But we'll evaluate that after um, Okay. Shoulder after we down. recover. Elbow up. There we go. Nice. Now I have some room to walk. Oh, that's a good setup. Okay. Um, so before we start, we just want to check with the bridge that they're able to, um, that they're happy. So that'll be a nav. Yeah, we have a uh, nav handover going on yeah. right now. So yeah, once they're done. So okay. we'll just stand by. Standing by. I think I might be able to do this. Okay, sorry about that. Back row, what's up? Um, we want to check with the bridge that they're happy for us to continue, that mm -hmm. they can hold station. Okay. Okay. And at that point, if they give us confirmation, we'll move on to the connection of this. That way we have the least okay. amount of time. And that the is cap on. south from here? Okay. Right now, we're just, just going to stay okay. here. Our next task is here. So if they're happy okay. for us to stay in this position, then we will make that connection. Sure, I'll check in. That gives me a minute. I can get the... Uh, Thing off and get it on the porch. Oh my word. The wire cam just took a bath. Yeah. All right, bridge is happy. Okay, if the bridge is happy, we can go ahead and remove that dust cap. All right. I think we're going to uh, grab the cable and put it on our porch first. That way we have the dust cap off for the least amount of time. Oh yeah, you can even put yeah. it in the Fletcher. The Fletcher yeah. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> seven. Have to reach straight down and grab it. Can I get a zoom video? Going in. 
That's good. Yeah, it's powered off. Good check, though. Okay, we can zoom wide. All right, pull wide. That's good. Uh, the cable's going kind of under the vehicle. The cable is going the wrong direction for the Fletcher. Is that crab alive? No, that's just a shell. Okay, good, because I don't want to like scrape them. I think the live crab is right above and this is just its molted state. The crab moved down on the sea floor now. Oh, is he? Okay. Okay, video, can I get you to go uh, zoom in on that? Absolutely. Or maybe there's another. You gonna throw it on the uh, platform? Yeah, uh, I think uh, this is the, the prompter. The direction, the direction of the cable is not good for the Fletcher. Yeah. I hear you. I don't think so. Oh, well, I, I control I'm this. not sure. And you. Can I go wide video? Pulling wide. This mouse, maybe? No. Well, now that I got it upside down, now I can. No. Try your mouse? Oh, maybe. Yeah. No, no, these two are mine. This is like something else. I know it's not. It's these two. Yeah. I think there this keyboard here is probably yeah. it. Yeah. How did we move it? I need to oh, maybe it's time. I need a pivot. <laughs> You're doing a <laughs> nice. I was like, there's a keyboard. There's no mouse for it. Oh, it looks almost. Not gonna happen. Uh, not happy. Yeah, and we're not. This is great. Normally, there's something here too, so that doesn't not there. That's good. Man, it's rolly. Yep. Um, you can also put it in the other way. Oh, I'm trying to grab a hold of it that way. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah, nice. This wall is really making this difficult. <laughs> no roll on the seafloor. There we go. Can I get bubble? Are we allowed to have food in here? Can I push it? Yeah, there we go. Video, can you go uh, uh, no in a little bit? Zoom in? Zoom in a little bit? Yep. Roger. I'm very responsive. Good. Can I, yeah, bring that down a little bit. Come on. Get in there. Yep, nice.
Okay. Right. Here, go wide. Going wide. I'm gonna swing the bubble back around. And then I'm gonna shove this guy home. Might be, might be home. Yeah, okay, I think it's home. I think it's in there. Okay. Dust cap. Dust cap. I'm gonna rotate Swing. shoulder. Yeah. Yes. Give me some more space. Yeah. I can do it. Yep. Shoulder left. Yep. That's all the shoulder left we got. Okay. Then what we can wrist. do is, uh, uh, I think elbow. we can do maybe uh, wrist. Wrist left. Right. Wrist left. I think that's, that's all the we're stuff get. we got. That's yeah. fine. That's, that gives me plenty of room. So you know what you're gonna do with that cable when you unplug it? Sorry, I was not here. We're gonna put this. Uh, we're gonna put this dust cap in the toolbox. Oh, it's just a dust cap. Yeah, it's, it's just a okay. dust cap. Yeah, sorry. Get rid of those ropes too when you do that. Back here. Back in, toolbox open. Don't knock my Fletcher off. <laughs> oh. Good. Back in. Okay, rack out. Racking out. Oh. Okay. Don't smack me in the face. Okay, so. Yeah. I'm gonna Hydrates. grab the hold of this, rotate clockwise, and go right this into the hole. The location right here. It's all in the grab. It's all in the grab on the craft. All in the grab, yeah. It's in this middle point here. Yeah, in the canyon, right, this whole thing. Pretty nice grab, huh? We are at height rates. That's a nice grab. That's the farthest to the... So, here. Hydrates, mid-east, axis. Axis. Rotate. Winston. That thing's name changed since last night. Yeah, over that parking position, nice. Last night it was called 11865 or something. Video, can you zoom in on me? Absolutely. There's your extension ID. ODI and serial number. Stretch that wrist. I think we're in. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, if we can get one little finger push at the after you release, and then we can zoom in. Winston. Winston. Is that for Trevor's uh, dog? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So now if we can zoom in when you guys are ready, just to confirm that those those little clips are actually seated. Yep. Are we, am I good for zoom? Yep, go ahead. Going in. Do we have all the lights on? Um, let's see. I know we don't have a uh, beautiful. Yeah, they're all, they're okay. all on. We don't have our. Yeah. So a spotlight. Kind of zoom in over there. 
possible. Let's. Uh, yeah, this is this is max zoom. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I was just waiting for it to be a little clear up a little bit, but sure looks good. She looks like she's touching. Uh, yeah, I don't see any uh, any <coughs> color, but I just sometimes I just looking for that old black line. I, I, I think it's okay. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna move the ship over to the bucket. Yeah. I think next step is let's go Kay. follow the Dream cable wide. back to the bucket. Come on, stow the arm. Yep, I'm gonna stow the arm. Okay, you can move us, Megan. Is that Megan over there? That's a Lynette. Lynette, you can move us over to the bucket. Where's the bucket? Oh, it's it kind of 168 degrees at 65 <laughs> meters. Somewhere down here. I don't think it's Somewhere off the screen. Down there. Um, yeah, it's maybe not. 168 at 65 meters. 168, 65 meters. Let's see, that's what it should be. Well, yeah. That's not what I was looking, wanting to look at. <laughs> what are you looking at that thing? <laughs> you could probably move 40 or something like that. 40 meters. Okay. Bridge now. 50. 50 will do. Well, it's up to you. Can we move five zero meters, one seven okay, zero, I'm please? Okay, All right, I'm gonna, uh, now we gotta look at the fun part. Thank you. Release the magnum. <coughs> Release the kraken. Yes. How's That's what your, we should uh, do. We should call up the kraken. How's your uh, tether and delta and all that stuff? You all Good. happy? Can Thirty-two you see? meters. I can't see. Thirty-two meter delta. I um, can't see. Okay. Our jaws are opening in three, two, one. Blast off. And then... Uh, that timing was pretty odd. I'm going to have you come <laughs> up about five meters on the delta. Yep, no problem. I'm just going to stow the magnum. What's happening on the deck? Come up on the delta first, please. I got it. Priorities. Yep. <laughs> I think I just swing it left, Annie. You're going to use it again. Military left. All right. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they did a nice job of laying that cable out for you. Well, we'll have to see how well a job they did. We haven't checked it out yet. Oh, yeah. But I think that was pretty solid. I'm going to follow the cable back to the bucket, right? Yep. Yeah. How's the gauges standing? We have a 4K ground fault. Feels like your, your accommodation's up oh. here. How are our gauges? <laughs> the good thing this thing pivots in every which direction. There is a 4K ground fault. We need uh, we need some motion compensation. Uh, the presets are all jacked. I can fix that. Give me something to do back here. That's new, 4K? Yeah, something just came on. Turn off the crafty. I'm going to secure the craft. Yeah, I'm assuming you did the blue button already. Yeah. Oh yeah, the checker, the checkerboard that we deployed in 2016 for Wally. Still there, buried. Is Wally still out here? No, we recovered uh. last year. Jumped up to 993. What lights do you have on now, Jake? All of them. You got the disruptors on? Uh, what are those, the down? I don't know. Lynette, can you hear? 
Lynette, can you hear me? Yes. Just behind us there, I think there were two stacked elven weights, um, like uh, her weights. Okay. If we can just make a mark for how far away this is from the IP. So if we need to come back, I think that's what that was. Okay. For future weights. Thank you. Unroute to the bucket. The bucket. Jellyfish. Look at all those shadows. Is a uh, porch all the way in right now, Jake? Yes, it should be. Can right. Double check. Oh yeah. Yep. Fully retracted. Right. I don't know what happened to my max speed, but it was. Different camera, different architecture, probably. I think those settings are saved in the camera, apparently not in the program. See, does our screen grabs? See how poor quality they are? So far, this is looking like a pretty, um, pretty straight lay. Yeah, 160. Third jellyfish. So what we hope to see at the end is not a big snarled bundle of oily. Come on, stop it. Okay, so there's our chicken bucket. You can bring um, Atlanta's heading to 160. Coming around to 160 row. There's the chicken bucket. Oh wow, we have a one and a half tub of wraps. Yeah. I'm gonna go back around the other way. Well, it depends on your delta and how far away you are from Atlanta, whether you can get away with it. Well, we've got 1.5681 and 1.3 to have a... Uh, you can probably get away with that. Yeah, that's... 30 meters away from 30 meter delta. All right. This is really painful with this. I need to reset these speeds. One six zero. One six zero. Yep. Uh, there. I think um, your herc weights are they like twelve pounds a subsea or what are what are their weights? The Alvin weights are sixteen. Okay, uh, sixteen each. Just about. There we go. That's much better. I only got half a wrap. Nice. Look at all this life. Chicken bucket. Anyone hungry for some Kentucky Fried Chicken? So one navigational hazard is this guy sticking out of the ground. Yeah. He's about five meters away from the chicken bucket. Baseball bat. Wow, look at that. Uh, so far it's looking really good, this unwrap. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. That's really, that's perfect. So the task here is obviously pick this up and the connector panel is on the back side of this chicken bucket there. Uh -huh. So we'll make the connection. Then we have to orient the instrument north. Okay. You don't want to orient it first before we do the connector? Um, that could work, yeah. If there's um, there's no real reason to do one over the other, so I we could orient it first. Orient That's it first. a good suggestion. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, then you don't. Uh, and if we are going to orient it, let's 
try and take it towards which direction are we facing right now? We're we facing south, essentially. Facing, yeah, uh, south, essentially. Yes. Yeah, so let's go put it kind of over top of that anemone urchin area. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn the crap back on. Okay. Increase their habitat. And then this on here, you'll see there's a mark, a piece of tape right there on the, on the lip of this thing. Okay. That needs to face north. Roger. It's okay. facing south. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the rope on the side, and then I'll grab it with the wrist so we can just rotate it wherever we want. Yeah, and it is this rope, not not this one. <laughs> yes. Not the connector rope? <laughs> not the cable. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to bring the arm out. Avoid, avoid landing so you yes. can just grab it. Yeah. Arm's coming out. Roger. So let uh, let Jake pick it up, Danny. Yep. yep. Just get a grab anywhere. You don't need to be at the end. There you go. Okay, just right. freeze it there and let Jake pick it up. Okay. Frozen. Frozen. Roger. Yeah, Martin wants, the scientist wants it as far from the IP as possible. This, so this is a pretty good situation for him, I think. I'm just going to spin it around. And we can make the final fine tune on the heading um, once we're kind of got the connector in there. We can just right. move a leg around until we're happy. See if I can get it close enough to north. Jake can get it bang on. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right. So don't, let's not worry about it then. So we'll do it once. <laughs> I don't think it's an exact science putting it um, the north. Like he said off one or two degrees is fine. That well, looks north there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Nope, don't fall down. You're welcome. What is, um, using your sonar, what do you s guess is the distance between that pole and the chicken? Right. Oh, he yeah. wants that oh, to be oh, five oh, meters. I can let go. S still a little bouncy. Yeah, let you go? can let go. Let go. Stand by, Dirk. We'll get a sonar shot there. I don't think that's five meters. No, I don't think it's five meters either. We might have to move it to the right a bit. Yeah, I think we're pointing <coughs> it a little off. I'll have to bump it. Yeah. You could move the bucket over the cable if you wanted to. Yeah, I think so. If you're going to move one. He right. has to be five meters off from the sonar bell. Roger. Okay, so. So. Okay. Pick up the bucket. Pick up the kernel again. And, um, yeah, use your sonar to range to the sonar bell. Okay. But I would say, or you could go sit above the cable right now and get a range to the sonar ball. And uh, then you'll know with reference to the cable. I would say the sonar ball to the sonar bell to the yeah, cable. That looks about three meters. Yeah. Where is it? Didn't show up in there. I don't even see it. Yeah. What? It's invisible. <laughs> yeah, it's it's invisible. I sat it right there. You might have to back off and come down a bit lower, Jake, to pick okay. it up. Uh, that looks. There she is. Uh, I guess it's about four meters. I don't. Yeah, if we can get it closer to five, if it's four-ish, but if if it's if we can say it's reasonably five, then I think that Pick might it up be good and enough. Walk it back a meter. What? 
I don't know how close we'll ever get it to five. Mm, well, pretty. Yeah. It's about half a meter off. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close. I'm going to bring the arm over and grab that thing. Yeah, let's. I mean, he's watching. Okay. Let's see if he, uh, he's got he's got something to say. So. Sorry, you, you're lighting it up at five meters there? Five meters, yeah. And that's where you want it? We want it five meters away from the bell. The bell needs to be west of this thing. And we are looking, what's our current heading? I'm now looking west. Yeah, so that's good. So. Okay, I'm frozen. So this is gonna move that out a couple Oop. meters. We'll move it a little closer to the cable there. So Martin, just for clarity, right the, top it out of the tape is uh, pointing north, or it is it is marking the direction that the chicken bucket needs to point, which is north. We just did like a gross alignment right now. I'm gonna let go. We're gonna plug it in and uh, do a final alignment. Yeah, let go. Once That's we're about connected. five meters away. Is that going to be in your way of the connection on that side? I don't know. We can always flip it later. Yeah, that's our sonar is showing five meters away. Perfect. That's great. And towards the west? And towards the west, yes. Nice. Okay, so next step is um, grab that connector. Do, or do we want to orient it first? or? No, no. I okay. think we're, if we're close okay. enough, right? We're pretty close. Let's see. What, what this Let's, we're going to move it when we plug it in. So yeah. Yeah. we'll bump it around after plugging. It's pretty in. close. It's about 15 degrees off. I think. Yeah, so we'll, we can make those final adjustments by grabbing a leg and... Okay. Let's go grab that cable. Yep. Find it. Thought it was right here. Fabio, nothing interesting to map around here? There it is. We can ask Mark. Okay, so I need to rotate it. Okay, I see how to do it. Oh no! Oh, there's a parking position. We have position. a Fletcher in the park. We have a flat yeah. uh, in the Fletcher. You want to stow that parking position? Yeah, we'll put it in the bio box. Okay. Does that does that sound good? It science. Yeah, that that works. Same wide camera. Let me give you some lights here. Okay, beautiful. Can I get porch out? Porch out. Are you gonna uh, take the pigtail out of it? Oh, well, I have to park Still, this guy first. Yeah. Out of curiosity, Martin, um, why does this, uh, why do we want this as far away from the IP as possible? He's not going to answer vocally, but I'll read out his answer if anyone's Probably interested. Probably some interference with our instruments. Okay, I'll follow you around here. Bubble, you still got bubble camera, Dan? Yeah, I can do it for you. Let's see, preset, preset two. Huh? Right, um, preset two. Preset so one, one one thing here, oh, Martin watching on shore, and he's pointed out something interesting. We yeah, this is the north marker. Right? box out. Is this thing flipped the wrong direction? This needs to be facing north. Box out. That piece of tape. I think it's facing the wrong direction. Yeah, I think it's facing south. Oh, uh, okay. Well, when we plug it in, we're gonna move to move it around quite a bit, so we can bump it around after. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. We can just uh, take the time, do I the gross okay. alignment now. I move think Dan's yeah. suggestion was good. Yeah. You don't want to pick it up with a cable plugged in if you can gotcha. avoid it. Gotcha. Yep. Unplug the cable. Go ahead. Cable will be in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we found it in the right orientation. <laughs> just 180. Whoops. Stand uh, by. Might have spun when we moved it away from the belt. We didn't have the five meter thing on the first move.
That's kind of like, oh, I want the couch here, honey. No, sorry, I'd like <laughs> it over here. <laughs> a little to the left. I can put it back to the way it was. Put it back to the way it was. Portrait. Oh, yeah, portrait. Some. Oh, there goes the zip tie. Vents. So his answer is there are some vents to the south, and just a couple meters further makes a big difference. That's why we want to get it as far from the IP as possible. Okay. Well, this is far. It's essentially 70 meters from that IP. Tell us about the sonar, about the instrument itself. Who makes it? Uh, it Imagenix makes it. Uh, it's called a rotary sonar, and I believe, Fabio, maybe you can you have Got more it. information, but okay. it's to track methane bubbles seep, seeping from the um, frozen from the seafloor. Yeah, I don't have much more on that. <laughs> and then uh, I'll just provide it. Like uh, yeah, this scientists wanted to uh, measure the flow of methane, and that's a good device to. So we want to look south to measure yes. that. Use something on the seabed as a reference for your distance there, Jake. Yep. So you don't move it further. Get this guy right in front of us. And then watch as you come around for the uh, bell behind you. Five meters should be good. But. All right. There we are. Release. Yeah, we can do the final tweaking after. Um, it's pretty pretty close. That is pretty dang close. Right on money. Well, we're going for the north tape, right? That needs to be pointing north. Tape is. Well, we're pointing south right now. Yeah. yeah. So it's got to be a reciprocal, I guess. Yes. We're, we want to line that up with the far end and call that north. Well, the tape is pointing north right now, right? Okay. Isn't that what you want? No, that's that's exactly what we want. Yeah, tape needs to point north. All right, tape's pointing north. All right. Uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not kind of. We can we can fine tune later from above and get a good right. image. <laughs> What's the? I just I just 180 it so. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I'm getting a picture here through the still camera for us to look at. Here, I'll get a picture of it. That. What's that sonar about? To the south. Oof. To the west. To the west, sorry. Huh? Yeah. There it is. Uh, it looks like the sonar bell is actually closer to uh, about 10 meters away. Well, no, I, I see no, it. Five, five meters. Oh, I see it at five. Five yep, meters. Five meters. Good. That's a good sign. Just showed up. Five all day. Five on five. the money. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll plug it in and then we'll get our final confirmation of north after. Because that heading right now to the sonar bell is essentially west, right? Uh, okay, I don't think sorry. it's really changed, so. Yeah, yeah. Go grab that cable, okay. stick it on the Fletcher, line up and plug. What's all that, Fabio? Well, I'm checking Ooh, with Martin if he could do some. Oh, yeah. Moved it a little. That's square that. That's the high res we have. A little far away. I don't really yet yeah. understand this, what, <laughs> what he means. Can't get there from here. Pick up that bucket and put it on the sea urchin. Uh, I'll be right back. Right. Um, just continue. And I, be I just have to check something with Megan. You want me to just grab the arm on the bucket and we'll just swing it over? No. Same game. Same game. Reorient. Okay. On the other side of the sea urchin, I reckon. All yep. the clamps on this thing is uh, made of fiberglass, and the bolts are all fiberglass. So it's not yeah. the most structurally sound thing. We, for don't gotcha. we don't want to tip it over into the mud, so. Got it. Yep, go ahead. Put it right back on top of that direction. Yeah. I'd say to the right of that little, maybe the rock underneath it. Yeah, that's a good spot. Something, something like that. Yeah, we're st still facing west. That's great. 
Right. Perfect. But you have to align it. Yeah. Oh. The, yeah, it's quite off right now. The north. Yep. Let go. No. 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 You gotta spin it. Gotta spin it. Okay. You wanna just pop the legs? No, pick it up. Pick it up. I've been. I don't wanna knock it over. You happy with that? Yeah. Come back around and check. north. It's maybe off by 15 degrees or something. Uh, we could move it a little when we do yeah, the connector. Do the connector? If okay. it's only 15 degrees or so, yeah. it's going to slide around in the mud while you're Yeah, I'm pointing north it. right now and this sticker's off about 15 degrees, I would All say. Right. <coughs> okay. Let's pick yeah, we're going to move it around when we're trying to plug it in. Yeah. I Just think you're going to have to land to uh, plug it in, Jake. Okay. You might have to land, grab it leg with the magnum okay but you can't just you know grab that it's not i don't think it's stable enough yeah it's too light to okay push what i can do is uh if you don't want to land now i can reach down and grab that connector yeah and put it in the fletcher yeah, yeah. okay i'll just get as close as i can yeah let him get closer danny it needs to be less than one meter yep. altitude <coughs> Let me know when you're happy. Happy. Do a uh, clockwise spin there, Danny. Get that loop out. Yeah, if you can do that, awesome. It's not a lot of kinks in this cable, only the one. Dougie did a good job of flat coiling on deck. Yeah. I mean, tilt down. Makes all the difference. Okay, I'm going to try not to drop this thing. Oh, yeah. Core really working my, um, my inner ear crystals. Forgot to take your gravel too, so this is really the old fashioned way. But, no, I'm sorry. This is a headache. Move the arm away from the camera, Denny. And no, no. This, I think I suspect we'll be done in 20 minutes or so. Well, you just jinxed us. After this, oh, we'll cool. recover and then I'll go.
Did you hear that? Can we rack back with the camera? Uh, uh, no, not what I wanted. <laughs> Danny, how much harder does it make it to move the arm around in this kind of rocking? Um, it adds a percentage of difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> It kind of moves half the arm for you. It looks like Danny's using his whole body to control that thing. <laughs> He's really... <laughs> it's like six points of contact to yeah. how afraid we are. Uh -huh. Going the wrong way, my friend. Oh, the smear. <laughs> <laughs> Come down a little bit, Jake. Give yeah, I'm coming down. That's good. I got the cable yeah. into the instrument. Oh. Please fail. All in the grab. If you don't like your grab, smear. Once you do get it in the Fletcher, we'll just leave the arm on it. Yeah. Please. We tuned that. Copy that, Danny. One. You just give me a second. Yeah, don't let go of it once it's in the Fletcher. Come on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, just hold what you got there, mate. All flows. Roger. Okay, so I'm gonna land in front of it. What We're is gonna grab a leg with the Magnum. Yeah, line right. Okay. Optimal plugging area, so. Yeah. Kind of walk around it a little more, probably to your left. Yeah, it's one of them. Grab the left leg, rear. Okay, I'll grab, bring the magnum out. Might as well. Is this for the dive That's after? That's good for now, Danny. Let Jake land it. That cable, I don't want under. Yeah, you might drag it out yeah. to the right in the mud a little first. I'm going to bring his shoulder down. Hold on, Danny. Wait till he yep. gets settled down. One thing at a time. It's looking good, pretty good there. Yep. Sitting down. So, how's our Delta? And Delta's Atlanta looking at 37 position. meters. All that stuff. Atlanta's happy. right above her. Yep. All happy. Roger. Okay, can I get you to pivot just a little bit, if possible, if I might be able to just bump it. Nope. nope. Yeah, see how this whole frame kind of flexes? Yeah, let me um, elbow, da up, uh, elbow down and wrist up. Oh, 
don't know if this is going to work for us. That's good right there. You can leave it there. Yeah. You don't have to actually grab it, but I don't know. Might as well know that you're there. Okay. All right. Hey, Danny, can I trade out? I'm going to trade you out. You want to do this? Yes, please. Okay. Thanks, Danny. Fletcher. I think this is the most stretched out Wiley I've ever, ever seen. What is our distance to the platform from here? Stand by. Hmm. Doesn't want to unplug. Oh, from the nav perspective, I guess. You want distance to that IP? Yeah, distance to IP, yeah. yeah about a bit 75 meters. 70, 75. 70 to 75 meters <laughs> <laughs> on a 70 meter oily. That's pretty good. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think you can squeeze another meter out of this. No, don't think you could. You took that one loop out. Dan, the still camera might give you a really good perspective right now. Roger. I don't need it. Yeah, the still cam really sees what a lot of these other cameras aren't capturing. I think yeah. you're not up and down. Up and down, right? I think it needs to rotate clockwise or something. Something. Yeah. Oh, looks like it's sliding a bit. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, 
Yeah, go ahead and push in there. I'm missing me. Video? Yep. Roger. Okay, that's good. Looks lined up from here. Yeah, it sure does. Obviously it's not, but you're going to fingertip grip on it. I wish our force feedback was working. What am I doing wrong, Danny? Um, I don't see the notch on top. Can you back off a little bit and zoom in a little more? Notch is the notch the is not on the top. It's, on the it's out of 45. It's off. Oh, see the the tape or the sharpie? Yeah, it's on the bottom. Yeah. That's it. That's what I'm doing wrong. Thank you. Not a good eye, Danny. How come you're not doing this? <laughs> Uh, Which way? Counter clock? Clock? When are you guys going to go to the new ones that have the... <laughs> the new ones? It's going to be a while for us to cycle all these out. Can you... Yeah. Yeah. So go tight. Roger that. Let's see if we can see that notch there or the keyway. Is it just a sharpie to... Yeah, I can see the... You see know. the key? Well, you look at the numbers on an ODI connector. And well, you can I see, see the, these uh, Sharpie mark on well, the bottom. This is also, yeah. what's that about? That, uh, I think the key is on the, the bottom. The key is right there. Uh, you can kind of see the tip of the uh -huh. key. It's, it's maybe not as far off as the Sharpie, but maybe it's just one clocked out. I don't know. You would think the ROV guys look at that kind of stuff where they put it in the water. Um, one thing... <laughs> the... Um, the angle of the of the yeah. dust cap was not vertical. Uh, I've got a picture. Let me check my pictures. I took one before. I should have looked at it. My bad. No, I. Uh, here, let me. I'm just gonna pull up a picture. I'm just gonna keep fumbling around here in the dark. Uh, how do I open that file? Should find the key here. Yeah, I keep going. No, I don't see. Um, are you are you on it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm putting some jam on it and slowly twisting. It's yeah. You can see the key. Dan, can you rotate the uh, jo uh, ODI connector to the camera? No. You, no. Can sh you can sure see it. It definitely looks like it's down there. Are you saying there's uh, keys not right in the ODI connector? And it's usually on the bottom. It should be... It looks like it's on the bottom. It you does. It's on the bottom. But I don't know what that mark I'm is about. Not there. Yeah. Um, here, let me check something. Uh, 